Yo, Adam Saxon here with Guy in a Cube, and I've got another roundup for you. There were a lot of blogs this last week, so it was a little hard to pick which ones made the cut. So be sure with everything, links are in the description below for everything I'm going to talk about. And if this is your first time here, be sure to hit subscribe to stay up to date with the content Patrick and I are putting out. With that, let's dig into the roundup. Lindsay Pinchot over at Blue Granite has a blog post talking about the bookmark and selection features inside of Power BI. This blog post is a great example of how to do bookmarks, how to do selections, and how to really tie that together to tell a story. The example they have in this blog post is awesome. I'm sure it took a lot of time to actually get this put together. And so kudos for that, great blog post. If you're curious about bookmarks and selections, be sure to check out this blog post. Link down below. Bill Anton's talking about scaling and scaling Azure analysis services. And so he talks about scaling up versus scaling out, what's the difference, and how to actually tell when you need to scale. This has to do with memory, has to do with CPU, just resources that you're using on the box. And then he goes in a little bit to figure out how do you make the decision on whether you're gonna go up or you're gonna go out. So if this is something you struggle with, be sure to check out this blog post just to get a little more hints and maybe gain some insights. Prathi Kamasani's got a blog post where she's looking at how to use the Microsoft Graph API from Power BI. So this is a REST API that you can use that ties into a lot of the Microsoft services. So this is all the Office 365 items, Azure Active Directory, just gaining access to a lot of things. And then building reports on top of that data. So she walks through how to actually do this what, AP, what is the REST API? What's the URL look like that I've got a call for that? And then how to tie it all together inside of a report. So if you're using the Graph API and you're not quite sure what to do with that, check out this blog post. Mike Carlo over at Power BI Tips looks at how to deal when your access labels get truncated. So this may happen to you when you've got really long labels that are inside of the access itself. And what do you do? So Mike looks at some things that he figured out on how you can maybe get around it. The approach that he used is actually pretty interesting. When I first started reading it, I'm like, mm, I don't know where you're going with this, Mike. But at the end of it, I was like, all right, that works. So if you're curious about it, maybe you've been hitting this, check out the blog post. You will not be disappointed. Steve Howard's got a blog post where he looks at how you can create data-driven subscriptions with Power BI. If you're familiar with reporting services, you know that data-driven subscriptions have been part of that forever, and they are very useful in certain situations where you can trigger subscriptions based off of data coming into a SQL table. Power BI doesn't natively have this out of the box, but what Steve look at, looks at is using Microsoft Flow in combination with SQL to trigger these items and it will trigger an email to you. He does talk about some of the limitations and some of the drawbacks as compared to reporting services, but in general, this could accomplish something that may be useful for your organization. So it's worth taking a look at. If, some, if you've missed data-driven subscriptions from reporting services, you wanna do that in Power BI, take a look at this blog post. All right, my favorite item for this week has to be the bookmark item from Lindsay over at Blue Granite. I know a lot of work went into that, so kudos. It must have been nerve wracking to get that the way that you wanted. I can't even imagine how much time you spent on it. But I wanna pass this off to you and find out what your favorite item was. Go ahead and leave that down in the comments below and let us know. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, smash it if you so desire. If you're new here, like I said before, hit that subscribe button for more great content from both Patrick and myself. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Keep being awesome, and we'll see you in the next video.